so in this tutorial we are going to make ajax login system so that we can log in so admin and password i click on this button login and then it logs me in to this secured home page and if i log out and try to access it back home.php then it sends me back to this index.php page that means you have to be logged in in order to access that home page and in case of unsuccessful login admin pass login and it says invalid username and password so now let's write a code so go to index.php and here in our work area i'm pasting few lines this is simply our heading jquery ajax login and here we have a table and there are four rows inside it and in each row we have two cells one for our label and one for our input box so this is for username password and i have assigned them ids so username and password and in this cell we have a span and i have also assigned it an id login message and finally we have a button and its id is login underscore btn and for this login message in our style sheet we have these styles for it so now let's test our code so we have our login form here and a button and here we have our database jquery ajax login in which we have one table users in which there are five columns username and password also our first name and last name and id is the primary key for this table so back to the page back to the code and we create a new file and save it as login.php and here is our code i'll explain this later but in my script.js we have a click function for our login button which we have here and whenever that gets clicked first we want to hide our login button so let's test it refresh and whenever we click on this it disappears and instead of that we want to show this image in the login message span using this html method so we need that image so go to learn jquery folder images and i'm pasting this file this is basically a simple loader file so refresh this page and when we click on login then the login button disappears and we get this loader image and after doing these two things i'm pasting few lines so first of all we are grabbing the values our inputs for our username and password and we are saving them in username and password variables and then jquery makes a post request this time to login.php page which we have here and that takes two parameters with it for our username and password and the values are these username and password variables so jquery makes request on this page and comes with this data so in our login.php we are first saving those values in these two variables and then we are making a connection to this database jquery ajax login and here we have our query select all from users where username is our username coming from this post same for the password and then we are counting the rows for this data after the query and we are saving that in our row underscore cnt variable and if that row count is one because the username is unique so possibly there can be only one row and in that case we are using this mysqli fetch array method so in this row array we get all our columns and this is our id in which we are saving the id for that row and then we are starting a session and our session variable which is equal to this id and then we are echoing success but if the login fails then we are echoing failed so in our script.js if the data is success then we are redirecting our user to home.php which we'll create now but if it's something else other than the success then we show this error message to our login message in which currently we have this loaded image but instead of that it's this error message now and in case of failed login we again want to show this login button so now let's create home.php so create a new file and save it as in our learn jquery folder home.php 
save it and here is our basic structure and about this structure I'm pasting this PHP code so first we are starting our session and we are checking whether this variable is set which we set here sessions user ID and if the ID is not set then this redirects to index.php so that this becomes secure page and if we have the ID then we are saving it make a connection and then we make a query select all from users where IDs are user ID which is coming from this session and then we are grabbing the data our row and then we are setting these two variables first name and last name which are coming from our database so in our work area now this is a heading and then we want to show a message welcome first name and last name which we set here and then we are showing a logout link so create this logout page so create a new file and save it as logout.php and here we have a code so we are destroying our session and then we are redirecting our user to index.php which we have here so test our code refresh and in our database we have this admin and password row so we try to log in admin and password so we click this login button and we are now logged in and if I log out and try to access our home.php then it sends back to this login page and in case of field login we say admin P-A-S-S -S, which is the wrong password for this row I click login and then it gives this error message so this was my last tutorial about jQuery and I hope that you're familiar with these basics and so from here we can step into some JavaScript frameworks so now you can enjoy this AngularJS tutorial series and please give your feedbacks